Okay, I'm going to show you a few more examples with multiplying exponents. We'll start with a nice easy one. Okay, we'll start with 5 to the 6th power times 5 to the 3rd power. Okay, now when we have the same base, okay, we can use our multiplying with exponents property. Okay, and what that says is if we, if we have the same base and we're multiplying, then we can add our exponents. Okay, so we end up with 5, okay, because the same base, and 6 plus 3 as our exponents. 6 plus 3 ends up being 9. Okay, so that's only when we have the same base. Okay, also, I know some of us like to write it out in expanded form. That's also a way, in expanded form. Okay, so 5 to the 6th power actually means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, so there's 6 of them. And then 5 to the 3rd power is 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, and then you can just count up all of your 5s here, and you actually end up with 5 to the 9th, just like we did with our multiplying property. Okay, let's move on to a little bit harder one. Okay, let's do 6r times 5r to the second. Okay, so I'm going to start out with writing it out in expanded form. Okay, so writing it out in expanded form, I have 6 times r times 5 times r times r. Then Okay, we just add up all of the r's that we have, okay, and we end up with three of them. Okay, so we have r to the third power, and then we're left with 6 times 5, and 6 times 5 we know is 30, okay, and then we can just combine those together. Okay, some people, um, they don't need to write it out in expanded form, okay, they can just recognize like terms, Okay, and use our multiplication property. Okay, notice here we have the same base r. Okay, and I put this little one up here because remember when there's not an exponent on it, there's that invisible one. Okay, so we have r to the first times r to the second, same base. So we add those exponents. So we have r to the third power. And then we have 6 times 5 left over, which is 30. And then we can just combine those, put those together. I okay, usually put it, like to put our numbers out in front, so 30 times r to the third power, just like we got in our expanded form. Okay, I'll show you one more. Let's do 9 times x times y to the second times 9 times x to the fifth, times y to the second. Okay, I like to write in my exponents when there's not one. So like if there's a variable there without an exponent, I just put my one there just so I don't forget. Okay, and if we're writing this out in expanded form, let's do that one first. Okay, we have 9 times x times y times y. That was my first term. My second term. Right here we have times 9 times x times x times x times x times x and then times y times y. Okay, and then you can just count up all of your x's, count up all of your y's. Okay, so we end up with 6 x's and 4 y's. And then we have 9 times 9 left over and 9 times 9 we get 81. So this would be our final answer here. Okay, just like I talked about in the last example, some people can just kind of look at it and combine those like terms right off the bat. Okay, x to the first times x to the fifth, we know it is x to the sixth because we add those exponents together when they're the same base. 
and then we have y to the second times y to the second. Okay, we add those exponents to get y to the fourth. And then all I'm left with is 9 times 9, which is 81. And then we can just combine these three terms. 81 times x to the sixth, y to the fourth. Now it doesn't matter what order you put your variables in. Okay, I just happen been putting my x's first, so I put those next to my 81. Otherwise, you could put your first. It doesn't matter in multiplication. Make sure you are asking questions if you are still not understanding.